most awesome dudes, I wanted to show you guys a feature in Windows 10, which is desktops, plural. Um, I noticed this when I first got uh, Windows 10, and you press uh, the task view, which is also the way to get to, uh, to, get to task view is by uh, hitting Windows key tab. If you hit that, it brings it up. You're this guy right here for the demonstration. Okay, so right now this is desktop one, and desktop one for me is my right monitor and my left monitor, and that's two different resolutions or whatever. But it's two; it's one desktop. But the cool thing is, like, um, let's go and hit Windows Tab or even Alt Tab. Okay, so Alt Tab brings up everything within your desktop, right? But Windows Tab, huh? Windows Tab weird uh it only shows what's on that screen which is pretty helpful if you think about it so if you have something going on over here which like for me i have my um screen capture device and a window open that shows or the where i'm putting the movie or whatever when i record it but on this screen if you look it's all i have is my website up so let me just show you on this to give it a thing i'm gonna go ahead and do a capture of my second window. So this is actually my recording software, right? So if I hit Windows key tab, this is, it only shows what's up in this window, correct? But these are still one desktop. So that means while you can't see what's on the other monitor and that, but if you hit alt tab, it shows it on the right monitor because that's my main monitor. Anyway, let me go back to the first one. I'm trying to make this kind of quick just because there's really no need for it to be long. I just wanted to kind of explain a little bit, so sorry. Um, <clears throat> continuing on, now if you go back to task view, if you look, not here, but if you look down on the right, it says new desktop. Uh, I did a test of this a second ago to see if you guys could see this, so I'm going to go ahead and do a new desktop. So this is desktop one, but it doesn't say at the bottom because there's only one. You don't need to have the menu there, but now we have an option for two desktops. So there's nothing going on on desktop two, right? But on desktop one, there's all this stuff still going on, which you can see by alt tab. If I go to win, uh, desktop 2, I hit alt tab and there's nothing going on. Back to alt tab, everything's going on. So we'll go back to desktop 2 and let's just go, I don't know. Uh, game Jolt, why not? We're going to go to Game Jolt. And um, whatever, I'll just leave it like that. You hit alt tab, right? All that's going on is this, and I'll put this on the other monitor so you can't really see it, but it's there. Oh, see, look, see, still within the same desktop. But if I hit this, go back to desktop one, you can actually see what's like get a preview of it. Go back to desktop one, and you alt tab, and it's all this. You do not have the option for desktop two. Um, this feature is pretty cool to me because uh, I, I do some work with Linux software and Linux operating systems, mostly like setting up servers and troubleshooting and whatnot, getting, figuring out how to make apps work for what people want and all that good stuff. But uh, I love that because they, they borrowed that feature directly from Linux. And Linux it actually gave you um, a little icon slide, like on the bottom left and you can actually turn it on or off and it showed you like, uh, you could switch between the different desktops just by clicking on it or you could, you know, like Windows key something something and then you could change like I think it was like Windows key and like left or right and you could alternate between the desktops really cool feature I'm just so glad they added it here and the reason I think it's cool is okay let's uh let's say this is a game right um, indie or whatever and you're sitting there working or you're playing your game and you see your boss come and you just go boom boom I'm working you don't see nothing probably a needless feature oh wow it just brought over desktop two into desktop one. <laughs> you learn something new every day, guys. Well, that's it. I don't want to take the, too much time. I kind of wanted to go over like what, uh, how the desktop kind of is being used now, like the way it's been, like the difference between Alt Tab and Windows Tab. That's Windows Tab. This is Alt Tab, and the differences between those and how they work with desktops and whatnot. So, um. I hope that was informative and helpful for you guys. You can take that and run with it. I don't know what you'd want to do, but, uh, you know, the uses are kind of endless. Personally, I don't really see a need for it with the two monitors. But, you, you know, if you... 
who knows, maybe you're doing something like you're reading up on code and doing coding over here, but you also need more space so you can like switch to the next desktop so you can do the same there. Who knows? But it's a pretty cool feature. Go ahead and play with it, you guys. I hope you um, have fun with it. And thank you so much for watching. Click the like button if you like this, if this was helpful or informative in any way. You can leave a comment below and let me know if you found some other features with it that I haven't found yet because I'm just kind of playing around with stuff as I go along and trying to share it with you guys. So if you found something that kind of expands that into doing other functional things or having more functionality, uh, let me know. I'm, I'm trying to get this information out so that everyone can take advantage of what's available and not just be kind of stuck somewhere, I guess. I'm all for the sharing of knowledge so that everyone's better. So thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.